Hi guys. In this episode, I'm going to be installing a 33-foot telescoping antenna mast. And after that, I'm going to take my existing 2-meter, 77-meter uh, Comet GP9 off its mount on the roof and moving it to this mast. Then I'm going to be installing an Alpha Delta fan antenna. Uh, this, that fan antenna covers multi-bands. After this, we'll see how my uh, reception on my radio fares. Stick around. Okay, I've unpacked my Alpha Delta DXCC um, multi-band uh, dipole antenna here. Uh, it's constructed quite well. It comes all pre-assembled. Uh, you've got your coils here, and each coil's got some plastic coating on it, as you can see. There's a notification on here to remove this plastic before installation. Uh, it comes, the wiring that's attached to this particular unit is 12 gauge, solid core, uh, it's not pliable at all. I mean, it's, it's pliable. You can maneuver it, but it's not flimsy by any chance and, or any ways or means. Uh, the unit itself comes with a center insulator with the SO239 connector on it, and you've got the resistors right here also. Uh, I'm not going to take this apart on the table here because I don't want to have to contend with having to move it out into the yard to install it. We'll do all that outside. But as I said, it comes with the coils for the different frequencies, and I'll show you a diagram of how this thing looks uh, before we actually install it. It's got your ceramic insulators, and it's also got the insulators here that you can see for each particular wiring strand. Uh, it's got the three holes. Uh, I don't know if you can see them there. That's, there we go. You got the three holes here that the wiring goes through as you assemble it. Uh, each each strand of wire has a different frequency. Now this antenna does have a frequency range of 10 meters to 80 meters, so there's no problem there. It covers your uh, HF frequencies as well. Like I said, very well made, come pre-assembled. Uh, it's all bundled together. I'm not going to take it apart until I get it out into the yard to actually assemble the guy. Also comes with a set of instructions here. Uh, tells about the product, obviously, and uh, some basic information on installation. And let me see if I can get this up to the camera and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this is what the antenna, the uh, the unstrung antenna, looks like when it's already pulled out and put into place. You can see you have your center insulator here and each one of these uh, is a separate, the insulated separators that the wires go through and this actually indicates which bands that covers uh, that is your 10 meter band, here's your 20 meter right here 15 meter up here and your A way over here and so basically that's what the uh, antenna itself once constructed and installed will look like when it's up in the air now, also sent with this product is some wiring to tie it down with. They actually provide the wiring. There's some companies don't provide the tie down uh, wire, or not wiring, I'm sorry, rope. This is actually rope, nylon rope. Uh, some companies don't provide this. Uh, Alpha Delta does. Now, if you're wondering who I purchased my unit from here, I purchased this from Gigaparts in Huntsville, Alabama, and I just want to make sure that you know that I'm not being um, sponsored by Gigaparts at all to tell you where I purchased this from. It's just I have done all my shopping from Gigaparts. Huntsville, Alabama is about 235 and a half miles from me, so shipping from there to here is relatively flat, fast, quick, and reliable. Uh, and also, before I also continue, if you're interested in more videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like bell, and I'd appreciate that. And I'm going to be putting out as many videos as possible uh, when I get some new stuff or just some general ham radio information. But being a new channel here, um, I'm just getting started out. But go ahead and subscribe if you like. Click the like button. I appreciate it. Back to the product itself. 
Let's go ahead now and take this out into the yard and install it. Now I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it. Uh, I'm probably going to mount it to the house or to a tree. I'm not really sure yet. I'm going to have to do a little site survey to make sure. I'm, let's see where I can do, have the best clearance. So let's go ahead and take this outside and do our installation. Okay, my project now is to hoist this telescoping antenna. It is a 33 foot telescoping antenna that I purchased from Giga Parts. <laughs> uh, I buried it, I have buried it with concrete and sand uh, about three feet into the ground, uh, a little less than three feet. Um, I am allowing for some settling. So it's about a little over two and a half feet down right now. Uh, I've got the antenna mast itself mounted to the eave of the house and I'm using two brackets right now. And as you can see there's two brackets mounted together and if you're wondering about the wiring it's because I thought I had two U-bolts that were the proper size now I have to have fit around a six inch diameter up the the mast itself is six and a half inches in diameter so I've got to get uh, a couple more U-bolts that will fit around that mast uh, more securely uh, in the meantime I've just got some heavy duty steel cable that's uh, holding it to the mat or to the brackets itself that, that'll be okay for a couple of days until I get to the hardware store uh, probably in the next uh, day or so to get two more uh, U-bolts uh, U or U -bolts, that is that'll fit around that mass more securely and I can bolt that mass to the brackets itself the next phase of my project is to actually move this uh, Comet antenna, this is my VHF UHF antenna from this existing telescoping or uh, that is satellite mount that's on the roof. Uh, I'm going to leave the mount up there because I might be able to utilize that for another purpose uh, later on. But I'm going to take this antenna and mount it to the top of the mast itself. Okay, I'm going to start by going ahead and disconnecting the existing ground wire from this mount. I'm going, to leave, I'm going to leave the ground mount on this post though in case I want to use it sometime in the future. But right now I just want to go ahead and get the mount down or get that wire out of there. Like I said, I'm going to keep the mount attached in case I want to use it again in the future. Next thing I'm going to have to do is I have got my cable looped here and it did this for a reason. I just need to remove the ties that I've got to keep these cables intact and on the post here. Okay, that process is done. Next, I'm going to actually remove the antenna itself. using a crescent wrench it's because it's the easiest to handle and to bring up and down the ladder here. I'm not going to remove them completely. I'm not removing the clamps completely. Just enough so I can slide the sand antenna off like that. 
Okay. Okay, I have installed my VHF UHF Comet antenna, my GP3 uh, antenna from Comet. I'm just securing it to the mast itself. And it seems to be secure. All right, below that, I'm going to extend this antenna up some. Lock it in place. Jump some more. Lock it into place again. Now, right here, I uh, hope you can see this on camera, is where I'm going to be mounting my Alpha Delta antenna, the, the uh, fan antenna. So let's go ahead and get the Alpha Delta antenna ready for the install. Okay, the way I'm going to uh, mount the Alpha Delta an antenna is through a pulley system. Now I'm going to be using a locking carabiner to go into one of the guy wire rings. I'm going to lock it in place and I'll have the pulley on the pulley accessible so I can lower and raise the antenna as needed, at least for the Alpha Delta. Now, I did have to modify the guy wire ring. Uh, it wasn't, the hole wasn't quite big enough, so I had to widen the hole a little bit uh, from the inside, going from the inside, not to jeopardize the integrity of the outer ring. Okay, now I have got the pulley mounted. Bear with me here, I'm going to adjust something here. I adjust the retention screw for this particular ring here. For this pole. Okay, that is in place. So let me go ahead now and prepare the antenna. After I put a wire, I've got to put the rope into here. Let me go ahead and do that first, and we'll prepare the antenna. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and feed my rope through the pulley system itself. And I'm using an nylon rope similar to that they would use in boats. Uh, reason being is, is weatherproof. Designed to be outside in the weather and in the elements. So. Uh, I have got that security. Got plenty of play, so I'm good to go on that one. All right, let's go ahead and get that antenna ready. Now, what I'm going to do with this coax after I've been installed it here. Make sure it's screwed in here nice and tightly. Nice and tight. Got one hell of a good connection. I want to start with quack seal tape which if you're not familiar with this coax seal is a tape that's a pliable tape you can mold it by hand stretch it form it and it prevents water intrusion corrosion and all sorts of good stuff I'm going to follow up this coax tape with some electrical tape as well but right now I want to seal this thing as best as possible with the coax tape I mean the coax seal uh, in the Sun and it's probably 80 something degrees right now in the Sun you will start to feel it get a little more pliable it's not going to melt on you it will not melt on you and you can use as much as you want it's not going to hurt it but I've done this with the other antenna, the one, the UHF VHF that I installed on top of this mast. I did several months ago. I inspected it before I put it up here onto this mast, and it is still 
very sealed. Of course, now it's not exposed directly into the elements like this one is going to be. However, it's still good. Okay, well here's my finished project. I have got my 33 foot telescoping mast installed, grounded, and mounted to the house. On the top, I have got my Comet GP9 uh, as uh, my 2 meter, 77 meter antenna mounted to the top of the pole here, 33 feet up. Directly below that, on a pulley system, I have got my Alpha Delta fan. As you can see, one fan comes out. It kind of got blended in with the trees there. It's, it's not in the trees, but it's just being camouflaged by the trees there. And the other one going off in the other direction here. They are... So, uh, they are tied off basically one side. This side right here is tied off to the eave of the house. And the other one is just goes down and gets tied off to uh, the end of the fence uh, at the end of the yard. So I said, the Alpha Delta itself is on a pulley system. The yellow rope is what I use to raise and lower the uh, uh, Alpha Delta itself. Just below that is my guy wires. Got them guide off three ways mounted again onto the brackets on the house and I was going to run these uh, coax cables up through the attic but due to an unforeseen uh, obstruction inside the attic I can't do that right now without going in and actually cutting a few holes to run it through and to be honest with you it's kind of cramped and way too hot in there to do it now. Got the antenna running down goes down three feet into the ground with the first ground right here as you can see, has grounded off the base. Got 12 foot guy, uh, ground rods pounded in. There's one there. About eight foot away is my second one. And you can see it right here. It's guide off. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, grounded. And the wire is not been cut. It's six gauge copper wire, not been cut. I just completely ran it, trenched it into the ground even further. To give a little extra ground uh, grounding. Well, that's my project for this uh, this month. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please drop me a line. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to be trying to get some more videos up as soon as possible, time permitting. Till next time, 73. This is Steve K4SRF.